What's going on with everybody? It's your boy, Eric, a.k.a. Young God, coming to you live in the Green Dungeon, getting it to you real raw rugged. And um, I got somebody on FaceTime, man. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Who we got? What's good? It's your boy, KD. Man, I'm out here, you know, living life, you know, doing the thing on the internet. Got a lot of stuff going on, but, you know, I'm just out here trying to prosper. Yeah. Hey man, well to start this off, nigga, I've been trying to do this for a long time. Like, it's hard to get in contact with you, nigga. You like Obama or some shit, nigga. I done emailed you by thirty you done had by thirty different emails. I done emailed goddamn everyone. You finally replied. I was like, damn, what this nigga got them secret service or some shit, man. You you must be a busy man, huh? I ain't gonna lie, yeah, I'm a real busy man. I ain't gonna hold you, man. I'm trying to uh manage from, you know, you know, trying to do this internet shit. Um, I work a corporate job and I'm a dad. Trying to like balance all that. I'm still learning. I'm still yeah. learning. If I could just focus on, you know, if I could just focus on internet shit, uh, it would be a lot easier. But I gotta look at my personal emails, yeah. my business email, my corporate email. I just got it's just a lot of stuff going on. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> so I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta set reminders for myself. I gotta get in the habit of that shit. Set reminders of myself of like what I got going on. It's just, it's just an adjustment, though. That's all it really is, man. Now, now you're a real nigga, though, because I remember at the end of, I think, 2018, you had posted, like, this picture where you were saying you was working, you know, Pizza Hut, I think it was, and yeah, yeah. You, you was grinding or what. Now, you know, a lot of niggas, they'll be, they'll be, uh, they'll be flogging, and they'll be like, nah, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm out to get money, but you was like, nah, I had this, you know what I'm saying? Fuck that. I had to do exactly what I had to do. Like, shit just, time just got hard, bro. I, gradu- I graduated college. You know, I had a son. Like with that whole situation, basically, right after college, I was like, man, I want to, you know, pursue my dreams. So somebody gave me the opportunity to do it, and like, you know, I was, it was paying the bills and all that shit. But it came to a, you know, you know, situation where they put me over on some on some bread. Yeah. So since they put me over some bread, everything, everything went downhill on that one, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. Shit was uh, fucked up my credit, fucked up everything. Like I was. And I was like, bro, I need some bread right now. Yeah. Like, okay, what's the fastest way to get bread? I'm going to sling these motherfucking pizzas, nigga. Like, <laughs> I was like, I'm about to sling these shits. I'm like, I, I can catch back up and all that. By that time that I was waiting, you know, I already had a degree. Uh, I was just waiting for my, you know, my sister to, uh, you know, finish up my resume. I made that shit look fire. So I was like, that whole process, that's what I was doing. I was like, man, I'm hustling, I'm stacking up some bread, you know, paying this rent. You know, paying for these damn diapers, paying for, you know, take care, paying for everything yeah. else. I was like, man, I, I got to do what I got to do right now. I said, I don't give a fuck. And, and, that, and I posted that shit because I want, you know, to motivate people. Like, look, man, you don't, you, don't give a, you don't have to worry about whatever the fuck somebody else think about you, nigga. If it's some real shit and you got shit to take care of, niggas got to do what they got to do. And it is, it is what it is. No, yeah, you said what's the fastest way to get money? You talking about slinging? The first thing I thought you say, you just start slinging dick to some hoes. Some shit. <laughs> I thought you. Know, I was about to say, nigga, might as well go back page get some fat hoes, nigga. Shit. I thought about slinging some dick from the hoes. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> hey, look, it's so crazy. It's it's really random. We just bring it up. I know, like people, like uh, like women selling vagina is like more out in the open now, and um, it's really weird because. If I ever came to my life where I was like, damn, nigga, I gotta start fucking hoes with money, I feel like I would be like on my last legs. I, that's not one of my first things. Like, I'm finna go fuck a bitch for a tooth. Like, nah, that's some crazy. That is not the first thing on my mind. That's the last thing. So when you come to that, like, that's your last place you can go. Yeah, you, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's some shit. <laughs> that's some shit right there. That's funny. But not. You, you said that you wish you could focus on the internet stuff, just focus on that or whatnot, and just take care of your child. Um, how far or how close do you think you are to that? Because you've been working for a long time. Bro, a long ass time. I ain't gonna lie, I feel like I'm right there on the edge, bro. Like, you know, I've just been, I've been learning, the, you know, the different, you know, paths I have to take mm. in order to, you know, make this a living. And that's the thing, my, my end goal is not just being on the internet. My end goal, I want to act. Yeah. I want to be on the big screen. That's that's my really end goal. I can actually act. People don't really know that. I can actually act, but it's just like right now it's just a milestone, you know, a stepping stone that you know that's gonna help me out. Shit, it's gonna get my face out there. You know, it's gonna help my face card, and you know, it definitely get help with getting roles and shit like that. So 
I'm like, shit, let me let me just use this right now. And then, you know, I got a lot of homies. Like, I, I know a lot of these. A lot of these internet people, I know a lot of them. They make it bread. Mm. On this. So, but they end up getting signed. I'm not signed. Mm. That's that's how, like, they're getting that bread right now. Like, I guess, like, my type of comedy. I, I still don't know why. I still ain't signed. But I, it was just one instance that I was signed to somebody, but they, they fucked me over. But uh, I ain't going to speak on that right now. But basically... You know, being independent, you got to figure out ways to capitalize on the internet. Yeah. And I'm legit figuring all this shit out by myself. And I've been really figuring this shit out. Uh, you know, I just started, like, the, you know, you know my worth and my value just the end of last year, mm. like, a couple months ago. So, with that being said, I'm <laughs> like, man, it's go, it's go mode, it's go time. So, I've been trying to turn up with all these videos and, you know, I've been learning the different marketing strategies on how, you know, to hit different target audiences. I've been learning, uh, you know, just how to, like, really manage my time, too. Like, when I say I'm busy, man, like, I I, I really be busy. Like, yeah. I, I, I wake up 6 o'clock in the morning, you know, get ready, get dressed, try to get out of bed by, like, seven four, uh, 6.45, take my shower. I have to, have to be at work at 8 a.m., mm off at five be stuck in traffic don't get home till six o'clock and then i try to still make these videos yeah afterwards that's my this is really a grind still be trying to make these videos and then on top of that i'm a dad so it's like <laughs> and i gotta make time for that so i, I schedule days I, I try to schedule days out the week where i can really focus on making videos sometimes i just can't do it because i just got a lot of stuff going on but like like i said shit if i if I could just focus on, like, you know, my content and everything, on some real shit, like, I would, like, really be consistent. I'd be on, the, like, the level to where, like, like that. how the hell do you niggas really think about all this shit? Because I got some crazy shit going on in my head. Yeah, you like, do. <laughs> you do. I, wild shit. I don't give a fuck either. Like, I don't give a fuck what the fuck I say. I don't give a fuck what I do. Uh, like, I, I, know, I know myself as a character and everything, so like, I know my character and I know that... You know, at the end of the day, God going to bless me, so just for being myself, so I'm not, about, I'm not about to sit here, you know, hold my tongue or anything, or if I find something funny, I find it funny, but yeah, at the end of the day, yeah, I'm going to be blessed, so I look at it. Well, no, it's crazy, because I feel like me and you are in a very similar predicament, just two, two different situations, because in the sense of, we want to focus on what we really love, but we have other obligations to fall back on, so in your case, it's your job, your corporation that you're working at. Mine is school, so it's like I'm in school and I'm, I'm doing that too. But it's like if we ever get that break, hey man, nigga, fuck it, nigga. I'm hey, it's it's, it's <laughs> hey, look, it's it's it's, it's like Uncle Elroy on Friday when he was like, hey man, I know I was a nigga in the hood, nigga said I wouldn't go nowhere, but when I got that money, hey, nigga, I was gone. You know what I'm saying? Like nigga, be gone. So I'm really, I I really relate to you in that sense, where you know you you doing you doing work, I'm doing school, but when it really pop off, we really trying to do, we trying to do. You know what I'm saying? It'll get there, and um, yeah, I think it's also something interesting you said was that uh, you you really just finding out your worth, you know what I'm saying? And I think it's really crazy because I sometimes find out people who watch my content, and it's like, whoa, like this nigga know who that's, I am, you know what I'm saying? Like crazy. that shit crazy, that shit is crazy. Like that shit is real. like when when I like found out like certain people was watching my shit, I'm like, oh shit, I don't even know, I ain't even know that. Like some of the people who did that was like fuck with my shit. It was niggas I didn't know. Them niggas was famous as hell and like you popping and shit. I just didn't know it. My homies had to tell them. I just didn't know who they was. Who was the craziest person you heard? You was like, damn. Um, damn. I would say. Who the fuck said that? Damn. I was. Uh, damn. It's it's a it's a couple people. I don't know if, if you consider certain people like famous or you know celebrities or even like some internet people too. Like when I when I went to Houston one time, you know, just as hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even know she probably seen any of my shit. Mm. She's like, "Oh, you that nigga that did that?" I'm like, "Oh shit!" I'm like that that shit really. I'm like, "Damn, I didn't know you seen some of my shit." And I'm considered. I'm me. I still consider myself. I'm low level like a motherfucker. But like compared to all my homies and the shit, mm -hmm. they probably got millions of followers and you know they, they making big moves. I'm still in the lower level. Yeah. So hey, you know, I treat everybody like they, you know, you know, they family. Like I ain't about to sit here. And, I don't fuck who you are. Uh, we all fucking human. And that's why I don't like how certain people, they get big-headed. You know, you think they let that shit go to their head because all this shit gets snatched away from you real fast. That's right. 
That's a fact. Yeah. Shit gets snatched away from you. So people are like that. Shit is a blessing when people are like, yeah, man, I love your shit. I love your content. I love this. I love that. But that shit is a blessing. Like you have people actually fuck with the shit that I actually got going on. Cause shit, I don't pill to a lot of motherfuckers. Man. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I really don't. Yeah. The people that do fuck with me, that that shit right there, I'm like, damn, bro. Like I really take that to heart. Like niggas don't have to fuck with me. They really don't have to fuck with me at all. No, I feel that because it's like um, it's two things that I really feel that you said that you don't appeal to a lot of people, and I, I I agree with that because you do have a I would say you have a weird eccentric mind like some of the stuff you come out with is like it's it's kind of out there, and and I feel like I try to apply that to myself because I'm a, I'm a Florida nigga I'm I'm a do stuff that Florida niggas relate to, and if you're not from Florida you might not pick it up, but I don't care because that's me, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to put on a white voice or I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do what I do best. You feel me? And um, yeah, it, I think the craziest part when, like you said, Jess Hilarious and people noticing you, I think the craziest uh, thing is when you try to play it calm, like, oh yeah, thank you, you know what I'm saying? But inside, you're like, damn, this nigga know who I am? Like, I, I was on the phone with, I'm gonna say somebody, and they're talking to me, and it was like, yeah, um, P. Diddy thinks you're hilarious, he's seen your videos, and he was really laughing. And I was like, I'm thinking, hey, like, nigga, you talking about Diddy, nigga, nigga, Puff Daddy, nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> So, but, but you got to keep it inside, and, and that's the thing. Niggas don't know how to be humble. Like, a nigga get 100,000 followers, a million views, a nigga lose himself. So, that's, like you said, niggas got to be grateful and understand what God done gave them. That's facts. Like, all this is a blessing that they can get snatched away. It, like, and, and I see a lot of people that, like, and I ain't going to hold you. Like, I'm no hating ass nigga at all, but it's just, like, certain people, you know, they, they, do, they do a lot of shit. For the clout and not for the passion, mm. and like I'd be looking at, I don't like to compare. Like that's how I, I had to learn. Like I can't be comparing myself to everybody else. But I legit see people with like hundreds and thousands of followers and shit, but like they don't have no craft. Like they yes. legit no craft, and they use the shit just to you know, uh, I guess just for the money, and like the, the content be ass, but people still be fucking with. It. I'm like, bro, like what is this? I'd be looking at like what is this shit? But, like, I, I truly, like, I put effort into my shit. Mm. And, like, mm-hmm. and it's just now starting to get noticed. Like, like I was on Vine for a minute. I was like, a lot of people, they, they you know, they probably recognize me from it. But I still wasn't big on there. So, like, back back then, um, it was real cool. Uh, you know, I always put my own in that, in, into that. But, like, you know, when Instagram, they, you know, they came up with that, uh, you know, that minute video and, and everything else, I was like, shit, I need to try to capitalize on that, and I've been, ever since Vine shut down, I've been, you know, doing my best, yeah. you know, trying to capitalize, and I see that shit is doing wonders for a lot of people that I know, like, a lot of old Vine people, they, they, they capitalize like a motherfucker on that shit, and, and that shit is a blessing, because, like, I got little homies right now, they, like, 19, 20, 18, 19, 20, making, <laughs> Dick's dick is like a motherfucker on this end of this shit. So it's just like, I'm like, this shit is, like, that. I use that as motivation. Like, oh, I never, like, try to pocket watch it. I'm like, nigga, that's motivation. I'm like, nigga, I can do this shit too. Nigga, let's, let's get it, nigga. Yeah. But, like, and, but with this internet shit, and I, I've learned a lot of people, they like to withhold information from people. Mm, really? They do. They like to really withhold information because they feel like they, they're threatened. They, yeah. they feel like you're going to take their spot. But it's like, to me, it's just like, bro, nah, nigga, we all can eat, nigga. Like, yeah. it's enough work for everybody out there. But a lot of people, they really feel threatened. So, I like, that's why, like, I used to collab with a lot of people and everything like that. But, like, when I started seeing, like, people start moving funny and, uh, you, you know, like, they think you're trying to take their shit or whatever, uh, I just distance myself away from shit. Like, I'm on my own name. And that's why, like, a lot of the shit that I do, I be by myself. Mm. Like, and that's just the... That's just the nature of it. And what I just came to realize is, like, I'm going to put myself on because nobody else going to put you on. No, it's crazy you say niggas feel threatened because um, it, it was this video that I seen. It was, like, this little page down here, and they post a lot of stuff. And it was this girl. She was doing, like, a public interview, and she watermarked her video with her Instagram name. And the page that posted it, they had posted emojis over her watermark and put they watermark. And I'm like... Man, as an Atlanta nigga would say, man, some lying ass shit, man. <laughs> now, that, that shit, shit like that, and that's where I, uh, I had to start to realize that too, bro. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up, cause like 
at first I'm like, bro, that's fucking lame as hell. Like, why the fuck? That's not your shit. Like, yeah. But at the same time, I realize, look, you make the content out there, they put your face out there. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, that's your face. Yeah. And people will figure that shit out. Like, oh, you that nigga that. So I, I just look at it as I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Like, I just literally just start saying fuck it. Like. Mm-hmm. It is what it is because I, I see my videos everywhere. If you put their watermarks on it, I'm at the point where I'm just like, you know what? It is what it is. Like, oh, yeah, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna sit here and just be mad. Or, yeah, I you know, feel you. It's, it's some lame shit. Don't get me wrong. It's yeah, yeah, shit, yeah. But I'm not about to sit here and be like, what the fuck, man? I could have had all these followers. Yeah. Uh, I, See, I wouldn't even mad at like I could have all these follows, I could have got all these views. It's just the fact that like you really took your day out and put it in the editing software. And, like nigga, you must have been a bored ass nigga do some shit like that, bro. God damn. Just just to take my damn watermark off this. That's that's some bad shit, but you know it is what it is. You know people got their own motives and agendas, so hey, it ain't me. So that's all I worry about. Yeah, not. I mean, but not nah, like I said, you've been putting work in a long time, and personally, you are definitely, it's one day, one be with you, a favorite, like, funny people on Instagram, is you and uh, Spice Adams, I think you two niggas are some of the funniest niggas on Instagram right now, so, yeah, y- y'all niggas definitely uh, keep me laughing, but, um, yeah, like, going back to you, you are from New Jersey, right? Yeah, I'm from New Jersey. Okay, and you definitely, it sounds like you turn into an Atlanta nigga real fast, like, even when you're talking in regular, like, talk, you sound like you a down south nigga. Nigga, I ain't gonna lie. When I came down here, it was legit. Like I couldn't understand none of these niggas at all. Like I'm from, I'm from, I'm from Jersey. You know, we, we got our own lingo. We got everything else. And when I came down here, it was just like a whole different world. Yeah. But you know, as time, you know, you know, as time fucking went on and went on, I've been out here for a good like. 10 years almost or some mm. shit like that when I came out here I came out here 20 yeah oh nine. I came out here oh eight oh nine. yeah I came here like oh eight like, it's been like 10 years but that, after like after a period of time like nigga, I started to adapt to these niggas like yeah. <laughs> you legit adapt to your surroundings and like I sometimes have to catch myself I'm like damn nigga I really sound like one of these Atlanta niggas <laughs> like I'm like oh shit but then again sometimes but even though I, you know, I've been here for a long time, people are like, you're not from here, huh? Because it's still certain shit that you know I say or do. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, you you're really not from here? Yeah. Hey, but yeah, I I'm damn near Atlanta, nigga. <laughs> 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 That's fake. That's it- fake. Like, is what it is <laughs> and uh, i see uh you talk about basketball a lot um did you start that you started playing in atlanta or you was playing that back in jersey i was playing i played okay growing up i played damn near every sport i played i played football basketball baseball and soccer i go in jersey i was on baseball football and basketball the most like real heavy mm-hmm. and then as i transitioned to middle school uh, it was s- s- soccer, it was soccer, basketball, still a little bit of football, and baseball still heavy. But then, as I got into high school, left baseball, left football, and then left soccer, and then everything was strictly basketball. And then after you know, you know, after I uh, went in there, I came down here, I you know, made the team down here. In, in, in Georgia and like I was like I'm gonna just focus on this shit like I legit came down the first year but I didn't go out for the team I actually missed my sophomore year and then I played junior year and senior year and like I was like I'm gonna focus on this but I had bad knees I could have been I could have been raw and shit but I had bad knees I could have been I got shit and all and I just fucked up my knees and shit so I just really couldn't do what I really wanted to but I, you know God uh, gave me the gift, you know, of my, uh, you know, of wits. I was able to, you know, go to go to college so off base of you know, you know, academics. Yeah. I was able to get a scholarship and everything. Like I didn't have to rely on you know, sports. And I had backups on backups. So shit, if I couldn't get a scholarship with uh, sports, I got I got a scholarship, you know, on academics. Yeah. That's been big. Like that shit is real big, and that's when I'm definitely gonna push onto my son. Like no matter like what sport or anything you play, you need to make sure. You know, you are you always in them damn books. No matter if 
want to go to college or not, like, stay in the book so you can have options. You can always keep your options open. And that's what I'm definitely going to, like, when I, as I raise my son, I'm going to let him know that because I've been through, I've been through hell and back mm. in life. Yeah. I got a lot of keys to success that, you know, is definitely going to help him out. So, with that being said, I just, you know, I just want nothing but the, uh, nothing but the best for him. No. I, I definitely do want to uh, touch back on school, but before I do that, I, I'm going to be very honest. I interview a lot of niggas who say they're really good at basketball, and I can tell they're really trash. I could just look at a nigga and tell he's trash. You, I think you actually might be good, because I, like I like to challenge niggas at basketball. I'm not going to challenge you. I don't care how bad knees you got. You like a tall, goofy nigga, and tall, goofy yeah. niggas usually be five basketball, so I definitely, <laughs> I don't know if I want problems with that, man. Um, no, that's facts, nigga. Nigga, all, all, not all basketball, like all hoop. Yeah, that's a fact. Like, we are goofy as hell, so it's just like, but you can tell with, like, just my nigga, you know, how a nigga look. Like, yeah. That nigga might get hoop. Like, yeah. that, nigga, that nigga probably hoop. Like, <laughs> then, no, that's, that's a fact. But damn near, like, all the teams that I've been on, like, everybody on the fucking team, goofy as shit. Yeah. And it was all, like, damn near got the same type of personality. Class. Oh, even though you got bad knees, could you still do a little bit of hooping today? Yeah, I actually hoop last night. Okay. Uh, at my old, at uh, State. Uh, my old college and yeah. putting up some numbers you know what I'm saying a little cardio a little cardio run you know what I'm saying ain't nothing serious but okay. it's I'm, still good to stay in the gym though I, I, I'm gonna have to come to Atlanta and uh, give you some buckets, though, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm uh, you know what I'm saying? Nah, with, with the bonnet on too. I'm, I'm gonna give you bucks with the bonnet on too, brother. You know what I'm saying? Man, it's gonna be like that, man. But but no, I, I think you cool with a nigga. I think you follow him or something, but. He was in the uh, NCAA tournament. He was in March Madness last year. He a light skinned nigga with dreads. He go to school in Georgia. Um, who am I talking about? Who? That nigga Raw, that nigga Demarcus. What's his last Demarcus. name? The, uh, Simons. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who he play for? He's from Georgia State. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga Raw. That nigga's Raw. That nigga Raw. I know what I'm saying? Like, when I, uh, that nigga, I know that's a hooper right there. Like, uh, that nigga right there. I would legit just go to the games just to see that nigga play. Because I'm like, we, what did they have? The March Madness last year. After I seen that shit, I'm like, oh, that nigga going to the league. Yeah, sure. I, I said the same damn I thing. Like, I was like, this nigga going to the league. Man, that nigga, that nigga around me with Westbrook. Like, he's explosive as hell. Explosive as shit. And, like, nobody can guard that nigga. I'm like, damn, nobody can guard that nigga. And, yeah, that nigga definitely going to the league. That's, that, that, that's my nigga right there. I fuck, I fuck with his, uh, I fuck with this game for sure. For sure, nigga. Nah, I don't want nothing. But the best for that nigga right there. He, yeah, he that nigga five. What is it? Is this his second year? This is, uh, this is senior year, I think. Senior year? I think this is his senior year, if I'm not mistaken. But he definitely, that's, uh, yeah, he's going to be in the draft. I see him definitely in the uh, first round. Yeah, so, that, yeah that, that nigga's definitely a raw-ass nigga. Um, but no, back to school. You said that... Uh, Academics is something you was actually gifted in as well, as long as uh, playing basketball and doing other sports. What was your favorite subject in school? Uh, favorite subject? Uh, I really didn't have no favorite <laughs> subject. <laughs> but the subject I was, I was best at was math. Really? Like, I don't know what, I don't know what the fuck it was about math. Cause I'm more like a, I'm a process nigga. Like, I process a lot of things. If I understand how to do something, then. I can do it. Yeah. I would never study with math. I would just have to, if somebody teach me how to do it, and then they, they, they teach me the process of, it, process of it, I'll put the numbers together and figure that shit out. I was an AB honor the road student my whole life. Maybe my whole life until I hit the college show. <laughs> college is definitely a whole different story. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> that shit is a whole different story. Yeah, yeah. Like, in high school and everything, they give you the formulas. You know, and, with the numbers in college they like you know the point <laughs> with the numbers I was like god damn I gotta know all this shit they, they try you in college like, and it's like why it's like bro I'm never use this bro I'm never gonna use I'm, trigonometry in my life nigga what I am never gonna use the damn uh what's this shit uh pi what the fuck was this shit well, called yeah I'm not gonna use I don't need to know what 3.14 pi is I don't need to know that bro <laughs> exactly but they make they like you gonna have to know this shit I'm like what the fuck but I ain't gonna lie college though that's the, get back on college you know, I got hella student loans right now. God damn it. But, like, I dropped out for two years. Um, 
dropped out for two years, but you know, I, I finished up and I was able to uh, get my get my degree. But I'll say college is, was the best experience of my life. Mm. It came to life mm. because mm. with college, <clears throat> you had to figure shit out. You really have to figure shit out for yourself. Um, <clears throat> the two years that I was out of school, I didn't know what the fuck I wanted to do. Yeah. I thought I knew what I wanted to do, but <clears throat> I really didn't know where I was going to go, like, in my future or whatever. I was around when Vine, like, I actually got on Vine and shit. I was like, damn, this shit may be an outlet, you know, to something that I may potentially want to do. But then I was just like, I got school and I already started this shit. So I was debating in my head, I'm like, yo, like, what the fuck am I going to do? Like, do I focus on, you know, entertainment and try to get into the entertainment industry? Or do I sit here and get a degree and be miserable in some shit that I don't want to do for the rest of my life? Mm. But at the same time, it's stable and I'll be having, uh, you know, consistent income coming in from having a degree. So I battled that shit for damn near two years I battled it for two years and then when I finally came to a realization I'm like you know what let me let me go back to my roots I was like since I have you know this school shit this is going to be my backup if this entertainment shit don't work I was like I, I do got a lot of potential you know to be in this entertainment in, uh, industry but at the same time, it's like I wanted to make sure I'm always good no matter what. Yeah. You know, my family, everybody, like, you, need to, you need to get that degree. You need to get that was pressing. You need to get that degree. Me, I was like, oh, I ain't trying to do that shit. Then again, I was like, God damn, I already spent, I spent all that goddamn money <laughs> on these loans already. I might as well goddamn finish this whole up. <laughs> yeah. That, that's exactly what I was like, hey, shit, I might as well add on to that shit, but you can't take away your education. Like now I got a degree. Uh, that's how I look at it. You got a degree. Nobody can rob it away from me. Uh, with sports you can be robbed. Anything sports you can get robbed for sure. Injuries or whatever the hell it was. You can't take my damn degree away. You know my knowledge and, and everything that I've learned. But uh, but at the end of the day, like college was just you know if you go through college and get through college and struggle through college, mm -hmm. you can conquer anything in life. Yeah. You can get conquer anything in life. And I learned that firsthand. I, think I lived in a trap house, nigga, during college. I lived in, you know, you know, trying to hustle to get bread in college, nigga. I was the fucking dad in college trying to hustle. And it, that shit was hard, bro. And I tried, and then I had, you know, you know, I had roommates and everything. You know, you got to make the best of your situation. But if I all could look back to it, then I would have stayed with my family throughout the whole process. Yeah. But real shit happened, real life happened, and I, you know, end up, figured out I had a child, I'm like, I can't stay here. I'm like, I can't do it. I'm like, I don't want to put that on nobody else. Like, this is my responsibility. So that's when I was like, you know what, fuck it. So that, so that year, you know, I was like, I, I got to figure this shit out. I got to figure out how it is living, being by myself. That's when I was like, man, let me live in this trap house with, with the homies. We got, uh, I call it trap, it wasn't no trap house, but it, it was just like a fucking thing. We had rats and roaches and all the types of that motherfucker, so we used to call it the trap house. Yeah. So, nigga paying what, uh, 150 for rent mm. each. I was like, shit, that was that was smooth to me. They yeah. like, and I learned, I learned life from that shit. Like, you know, you never take. I'm already, I'm already from, you know, not the best area in Jersey and all that shit. But I don't glorify anything like that because it's just like, what's the fucking point? Because I'm out there, bitch, now. So, you know, shit, I'm trying to go up. I'm yeah. fucking with that old shit. People still back there in that hood where I'm from not doing the damn thing. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it where I'm like, shit, I, I'm, I'm doing good for myself. I got out that shit. Yeah. Like, I'm glad I got out that shit. So, yeah, so by that whole time, I only stayed there not even a year. I only think it was a full year I, I stayed there. Cause I was like, I gotta get the fuck about this house. Like these rats, they kicking our ass, nigga. They they about to take over, nigga. So like, you know, uh, so and I didn't. My son was not about to just, like 
he was not about to be in that fucking house. Like, I refuse. Oh, this shit's dead. Like, this is just for now. Uh, and when people look at that shit, you know, if you got an end goal and you, you want better for yourself, you don't dwell on what you got going on, you know, right now. You look at your end goal and try to prosper and, you know, to make, you know, a better, make better decisions to get to that end goal. So that's what I was looking at. So I was tripping with the, my situation. Yeah. I was like, I'm, yeah, I'm still make the best of this situation. Pay my rent, nigga. Hustle, nigga. School, nigga. Let me get this shit done. And then when I get done, I'm going to have to worry about, you know, getting on my own. Yeah. Like being by myself. Now I got my own crib downtown in, in ATL. And I'm paying my own rent. Uh, got my own job. Got my, you know, my son got his own room. I got my own room. It's just, everything is just levels to it. It's just levels and milestones. So, now that I got this, my next, my next move is, you know, get a house. It's, you know, it's, everything is just, is just milestones. But, but for now, like, I'm just living in the moment with what I got going on. I'm trying to manage it, you know, maintain, uh, just everything. School, I mean, not school, but, uh, work, uh, son, uh, you know, internet, all this shit just, it, it can be a lot sometimes yeah. oh well but I don't complain about this shit cause I'm like I'm gonna get this shit done I'm gonna make it happen well it's you, you talked a lot about the past and how a lot of a lot of like stressing things like college working bills and all of that I feel like a lot of it's gonna be really random but I feel like a lot of black people don't ask other black people this enough so I'm gonna ask you are you happy would you say that you're happy in your life hell yeah you know why I'm happy because okay. bro I actually got a brand coming uh coming out uh Clothing brand? Clothing brand? Brand in general. Oh, just a brand in general. Right. It's, it's going to be merchandise and everything behind it, but like, it's going to be a, uh, I got a brand to basically, you know, you remain happy while you struggle. Because mm. if you don't remain happy while you struggle, you're going to get to a, a, a space, a clouded space, and everything going to go downhill. Yeah. You remain happy, and you look at your end goal. Even though you're struggling, you're struggling like a motherfucker. You stay, you stay optimistic, and you reach that goal. I'm a, I'm a happy ass nigga right now. Like, no matter, like, I've been through so much shit. I've been, de- I've been in depressed. I've been depressed before, like to the point where I, like, I ain't, I ain't know what the fuck I had going on in my, my, my brain. And I was not happy. Back when I was in the trap house and all this shit, I was not happy at all. But I'm happy now, and I'm content with myself. And I know, you know, I know my character. And basically, I, nobody's gonna rob me from that shit at all. They're not gonna rob me for it because I see my end goal. I see, you know, I have way more now than I had back then, mm. and that's always a blessing. So my happiness is uh, through the roof. I'm I'm good. I'm good where I'm at. I'm not content though. I mean, I'm content. You know I'm, I'm content where I'm at, but I'm not satisfied where I'm going to be. Yeah. Because I, I got, I got, you know, I got dreams and goals still. Like, I, fuck all that. Like, I, I got, I got to make shit happen. Yeah. No. No. That's good to hear that you, you, you still happy because I feel like as black people, we come from like a lot of environments where. We don't even have time to reflect on us being sad or being down. We just got to keep pushing, got to keep going. You know, you got to keep hustling and whatnot. Just like it was in Trap House, you probably ain't really, like, even though you were struggling, you still had to keep working, keep going. You didn't really get a time to just sit down and gather your thoughts and make sure you was okay as a human. So that's good to know now in 2019, you, you're you branding yourself, and you even got a brand talking about that. So I think that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. I, I know a lot of people, they go through shit, like, but it's hard when you going through shit. You feel like you alone. Yeah. But you're not. There's other motherfuckers be going through shit just like you. Yeah. And, you know. But my, that's why I want to. You know, I want to motivate others to. You know, see that like there's life like, that you're not alone, and you can you can control your own path, yeah. your own destiny. <laughs> so, but the best way to do it is to remain happy by by laughter. And that's and that's like laughing heals the spirit yeah. like that's why you know that's why i like making these videos too as well it's not just because you know i want clout or anything like that that's just an addition to it me when when i get messages like man bro you you made my day i was going through some i was going through some shit right now i seen your video that shit brightened my day up 
that's it. That's that shit hits. That shit hits my soul because I'm like, I know how that shit feel. Like just from me, just from you watching a minute of my video or whatever, how long the fucking video is, and you smile, that shit will help you get to the, you know the next portion of your life or get past get past something that you're going through right now. It will help. Like yeah. I'm helping you do that just from just from you laughing and you know you know smiling. That that shit's dope as hell to me. No. Nah. Hey, Nah, I can see that. I'm, I'm pretty sure your videos, like you said, it make people feel better. Like, I know for a fact that Tom Cruise video is the one that a lot of people just probably see that when they're having a bad day. Probably, man, niggas that made so many interpretations of that video. I seen a video today where a nigga remixed it, like, with The Sims. It was, you posted on your page, like, that was crazy, man. That shit right there. That shit was so creative, man. That's, bro, I, I'm like, yo, uh, it's so crazy how, nigga, one video, why like, I, bro, I'm, one video is still viral to this day, and you know people like, "Hey man, you the Tom Cruise dude?" That shit's still, still crazy because it's like I made that shit three days before he got locked up, mm. and it's still viral to this day. Like people still recreating shit, you know, meet memes and all that. But the internet is a powerful place. That's what I'm saying. Like when I know my worth, I know my damn worth now. So it's just like I can't take shit for granted, and, and I know like the effect that I can have on people. How did that get so viral, that, that one video? Because that video is, like, everywhere. I, this is what I did. Yeah, I took a smart route. Because Bobby posted it. That's that's why I really? it so crazy. Okay. Yeah, he posted it. But he, you know, I sent it to him, but he didn't see that shit. When you, when you got, like, your social media, you, when you popping, bro, you can yeah, just yeah. Yeah. a lot of shit. If somebody, unless somebody hit your email, you got management, it's hard to see a lot of shit. But I was like, I looked at his, I was on his page. He took a picture with a couple of his homies and shit. I was like, oh, this is a crip homie right here. He only got like a thousand followers. <laughs> I said that shit to him. And that nigga, he showed Bobby that. And that's when he posted that shit. I was like, and, and this shit just went crazy to this day. And that shit is crazy. That is real. He really got locked up. I was like, dang. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> not a, that's really crazy. Do you have a favorite video series you do? Because I know you do the Atlanta Niggas series, you do the Step Daddy series. Like, what's your favorite series of videos that you think you you created? I, I think my favorite series was the fucking Fade series. The shit I be doing. Oh, you knocking? Man, that shit's crazy, bro. Like shit like that is like, how do you think? <laughs> and, hey man, nigga, I need my hair cut. Nigga, passing out fades. <laughs> and you know what's crazy? Cause uh, I'm saying I got a, I got a lot of. Uh, I'm versatile in a lot of shit. So I cut hair. I'm a barber. Mm. So, like, basically, I, I intertwined one of my crafts and you know, brought that shit to life to make it funny. And I remember I did a video recently. Like, when I said dedication, and that's what I was like, these shit's these my favorite, like, most favorite. I legit, like, recorded a video, gave out, like, four fades. <laughs> Four fades. That shit took like that. That video took about like seven hours to make <laughs> because like the creative, like that was dedication, right? Yeah. There. Like, but ever since then, like those are like one, those are like one of my favorite videos. The people, you know, all the memes and shit they be making from uh, the fucking noise I be making, the little dumb shit. That's that shit be killing me, bro. Like that's probably one of my favorite series. But all the shit I do, like, I, if I don't laugh at that shit, I'm not gonna post it. Yeah. I legit have to laugh at my own shit in order for I, I think other people find it funny. If nah. I don't find it funny, uh, I'm not gonna post it. I shit. feel like we are our hardest critics because I have videos that I haven't posted because I don't know if they're funny. Somebody could tell me if it's funny, but I'm like, I don't know if this is really funny. Like, you ever just like debate that with you? Like, you would show somebody like, is this funny? They'd be like, yeah. You'd be like, I don't know, man. Like, you still debate with yourself. You you know your own self. Though. Yeah. You know how your own is. So like, if you if you, you know edit a video. And then you, you know, you export or whatever, and you sit there and you watch it. If you don't laugh, that ain't it. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah, ain't it. Yeah, that ain't it. But if you laugh at your own self, I feel like a lot more people gonna laugh with you. No, that's a fact. That's a fact. I um also by the way, I love your Atlanta nigga videos. Those are uh, hilarious. Like I like the one you was at the vending machine. You said, "Man, get the beat tits, man." Beat tits. The beat tits. <laughs> That's back, that was back when I was in college, bro. Yeah. Big Chase and Eminem. Bro, I swear, Atlanta niggas talk like slaves sometimes, man. That shit is crazy, bro. That shit is. Nah, that's a lot of. Them. I ain't gonna crazy. lie. I had to, like I said, I had to adapt to these niggas. Like, 
I, I would tell you a little story when I was in when I first came here and I was on a bus going to school to high school the nigga came up to me he was like what's your he like what your name Mill? I was like huh <laughs> I said huh he's like what your name Mill? I'm like I'm like well, what is my I, I was like what's my name I was like hey. uh, I told him my name and then the nigga came out of nowhere I'm gonna call you Drizzy I was like, they ain't got shit to do with my name. <laughs> I was like, bro, they ain't got shit to do with my name. He's like, you drizzy. I was like, all right. Just went along with it. I was like, I guess I'm drizzy now. <laughs> and I was just like, what the fuck? And I, it was hard to under, it was hard to, you know, to understand what these niggas were saying at first. But you know, as I you know, adapt to the culture and everything, it's easy to pick up on all that shit. And that's why I so, you know, I exaggerate the land niggas. And not all land niggas sound like that. Yeah. But I exaggerate it to the, to the point where, you know, You'll get a feel of like how like them southern ass niggas. Yeah. You'll get a feel like them niggas. You you won't understand them. You won't understand the words they saying. Don't finish words any, or any, anything. What the hell? They just don't. They don't, they don't finish shit. You no, know, that's a fact. I mean, I'm from Florida. I definitely understand. Like in Florida, English isn't really like important. Like you don't really have to know English that well. You just like niggas will understand you if you really live down here. If you live down here long enough, niggas say, "Well, I'm finna got uh, go to the got no corner store." You understand that? You don't really finish the sentence, but you're like, "Okay, it's finna go to the corner store." You feel him? You, you yeah, understand it? That's fucking facts. So um, nah, I, I definitely uh, I definitely understand that. But um, before we get out of here, I got one fan question. Uh, two fan questions, excuse me. Uh, first one from Cam and Nasty. He says, "What is your inspiration to come up with all this crazy stuff?" That shit is crazy. My inspiration. That's the thing. It's hard to explain. It's just something. I got a lot of shit going on in my head, mm. and I, a lot of stuff I do take you no know, real life scenarios and I put a twist onto it. Yeah. But at the same time. I take a lot of what if situations. Mm. If I take a what if situation, I would sit there and legit just go off of that one subject yeah. and come up with some crazy off the wall shit. Mm. Niggas be like, "What the fuck is this? <laughs> like, what, like what am I watching?" And that's what that, that's a lot, a lot of shit that I, I try to you know, be geared towards because yeah. a lot of people they do the exact same, the exact same type of comedy or you know irrelevant shit. Yeah, I find irrelevant shit so fucking funny. Mm. That's like the funniest mm-hmm. shit ever. Cause it's just like, yo, like, what are you thinking? A yeah. lot of people think, a lot of people think I, I be high all the time. I just got natural high. I don't even smoke. Like, people are, probably don't even know that shit, but I don't even smoke mm-hmm. at all. I just na- naturally just be thinking of some weird ass shit, and I just bring it to life. Any weird shit that I think of, I'll bring it to life, and that's where my inspiration comes from. It don't even come from like, you know, uh, watching other people or anything like mm-hmm. that. Yeah, I got a couple, you know, people that I do look up to, uh, but. Other than that, I, I legit have my own lane or my own creativity, and yeah. that's where that shit just it just come off the come off the dome. That's really it's freestyle. Okay. That's basically what it is. It's freestyle comedy, I say. <laughs> okay. Uh, then last fan question goes from Young Nato. He says, "Hey man, big fan, but I gotta ask, who's your favorite porn star?" Ah, porn star. Back, all right, look, back before she got wrinkly and shit. Uh, I don't know if you heard somebody named Priya Rai. Yeah, the Indian chick, right? Yeah, I don't know what the fuck what it, is, it was about her. I was like, God damn. I was, like, supposed, to, I was supposed to interview her, actually. Shout out to Priya Ryan. <laughs> For real? Yeah, I, I interview a lot of porn stars. Shout out to her. <laughs> oh, that's dope. <laughs> that, that's dope. But nah, that, that was back. I'll say back in high school. College. Era. But now, oh, um, shit. Damn. So many damn porn stars, a lot of Twitter porn stars. It's, now. Right. <laughs> it's hard even. I can even say now, I do shit. I just, I just beat the goddamn anything <laughs> that look good now. So it's just <laughs> you can't think of just a couple of one that's just like, damn, she is a, she's a nice one. Uh, fuck, definitely Tiana Trump. Mm. That's one of them. You got me about to look up some damn damn porn stars. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. Uh, let me look at my archives. Uh, let me look at my archives. That's hilarious. <laughs> that is funny. It's hard. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to, to gauge on who I actually. Cause I just like shit. Damn, that ass fat. She <laughs> and she look good. Just beat my meat time. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. 
Oh man, that is hilarious. Hey man, anything else you guys say before we get out of here? Until next time, everybody, I say what I mean. I mean what I say. Haters gonna hate. Players gonna play. Y'all holla at your boy.